on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Where is it? Wait, what? What? Where's my flask? I need it. You've done enough drinking. I am fine. I'm just supposed to be looking for a job today. I'll look for one when I'm not good and damn ready. Now, where is it? Yes, you forget a woman. As yes, this is a five year old Izuku in which. Izashi came home drunk, and now he's looking for more booze. You see, a while back, Izashi's lost his job. But by then, Inko has already been pregnant, and it's hard enough to find an occupation. But worrying about your wife, and then your kid coming, it's... A lot of stress. So like some people, has actually picked up an addiction. Alcohol. One of the worst, definitely. I like marijuana, some of the other drugs. It, just like cigarettes, are legal and easier to obtain as long as you get the money to get it. In which Hizashi's mindset is starting to get more warped the deeper he punches himself into a flask, a bottle, hell, a can. So Izuku had to grow up with his father's problem. first it wasn't nearly as bad but then Inko started crying and that really hurts him, the poor boy much to uh, the extent of Inko noticing his sadness so what does Izuku do? well first he was diagnosed quirkless of course only to find out in the middle of nowhere he tried hiding his father's flask and in his desperation he put it in the dresser but seeing how enraged his dad is darn to become he goes looking for it he looks in the right same dresser and it is gone He's terrified. He doesn't know what happened to it. He doesn't know where it went. He if Inko didn't have it, she's definitely not playing dumb. Zashi, that's well, to a suggestion whether he's taking it. But him starting to want the flask back. Him hoping he can find it. Not knowing where it is, but if... He can somehow acquire the flask, give it to his father, maybe he'll calm down again. But this is when a green, blackish portal just opens up in front of him. He doesn't know where it leads, but he feels somewhat drawn to it. He reaches in and takes something out of it. The flask. And this is when Izashi just bursts into his room and sees it. Where did you get that? I, 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 never mind, just give it here. Is yeah, Inko just runs in saying, what is going on here? It's like, your damn kid stole my, my flask. Him just leaving the room. Inko... Izuku, did you? I thought he would be less mad if I did. 
Yeah, Inko, she sees the worried look on Izuku's face, how he's worried for her, which makes her worry about him even more. This behavior is not anything she's seen from Hazashi before. This is not the person she married, definitely not. So, she starts making plans. But, something happens in between then. Soon enough, Izuku and Hizashi start spending more time together. Ego knowing that something doesn't feel right. Izuku's seven by this time. In which Zashi's noticed some things. When he goes to confront Izuku, this is where he learns about his awakened quirk. It's a portal. Knowing that, it seems like he can move through it himself, or someone else can go through it. But what makes it more special is that not only does it go from place to place, he can actually teleport. But it seems like the work is also storage of some kind. So now she's seeing this. Is, that's interesting. I'm wondering, where can you teleport to? Can you reach into anywhere? I don't know. Well, while we um, spend some time together, you know, as father and son, Inko is still slightly oblivious to Izuku's quirk. Slightly meaning. She knows about it, she just doesn't really see, as Zashi would say, the potential in it. Alright. Let's go on a treasure hunt. What? Oh, don't worry, it's, it's gonna be fun. Um, okay. Okay, first things first. You see this piece of paper right here? Think of it as a treasure map of this building. It, the treasure's in here, right in this room. Okay, so what do I... Yeah, you open up one of your portals to go there. Go directly inside. Can you do it? I don't. As such as. Oh. I just thought you wanted us to be happy family again. I. I do. I. Well, in that case. Do it. In which Izuku, he tries to memorize this, this building's blueprints, in which it is a bank. So, he focuses on the specific room he needs to open a door to. When he does, Izuku just steps through it. Izuku, feeling the malice in his voice when he says, Keep this open, it's like come back. So he does. When Zashi returns, he's carrying three duffel bags. Izuku's like, well, I'm so proud of you. As he unzips it, and it's full of hundreds. 
if anything. <laughs> yeah. Izuku helped his father rob a bank. I was actually proud of his little accomplice, but it makes him promise not to tell his mother. Izuku, feeling somewhat closer to Izashi's, I promise. So, with this new uh, source of income, you could say, Izashi does have more money to buy the alcohol. He just makes it look like he's on his last uh, dollar. He's not good at hiding it. Especially when he does come back home from drinking. Everyone is wondering where is he getting this money from? Inko especially. And yes, this puts a damper on her plans when it comes to divorcing and leaving Hazashi. Because chances are, if he can provide more of a better environment than she can, she could either have joint custody or potentially lose custody of Izuku. If anything, it usually favors the women, but she has no idea how this could turn out at all. But then, the more money starts coming in. Inko asks questions, Zashi says, I start gambling. I'm, uh, I'm just on a roll. Nothing to worry about. Right, Izuku? You taking him with you? Isn't that the... Oh, he's my good luck charm. I couldn't do any of this without him. Izuku, knowing exactly what he's talking about. And now we cut to a nine-year-old Izuku. It's been a while. He's helped his father rob countless banks. Even giving him maps of different areas in which, okay, this place I know has such and such and such. I've been casing it for a long time. I, I can do all the heavy lifting. All you had to do is make me a way in and out. That's it. And for a while, yes, it does seem like everything's going good. Until Hizashi starts flying a little too much money. Knowing that the whole quick influx of cash is already a red flag, but since he started uh, casing actual houses and special facilities that shouldn't be entered without proper authorization there are things like rings necklaces all the like and when you start messing with the wrong people chances are someone's gonna get a little what's going on here but by then he's made a lot of money off of this but he's also gained a lot of unnecessary attention from uh, the good old Hero Association. They don't have the hard evidence to downright accuse him of it because where he did try to pin something on him, he didn't have anything on him. So they will always be left wondering, like, how is he doing this? How is he able to have all this cash, but somehow nothing on him? Is he selling drugs? Is he, as a side business, does he have a laundry mat? Does he clean? How is he clean all this? And 
but then we start looking at huh taxes has he been paying them he lost his job a while ago so hmm. he uh, says it's gambling but I don't know anywhere everywhere there's this much of a payout so they get one of their agents on it one by the name of Lady Nagant she's supposed to gather evidence when she does she takes pictures of his entrance and exit strategies she gets pictures of Izuku as actually laying the blueprints out in front of him and Izuku opening the portal into the buildings on one hand she's shocked that someone could actually convince a kid to do it but their own son to be his accomplice on in these crimes why how could he do this to his own son as she holds her little investigation she starts digging a little bit deeper okay that's how yeah losing her job can put a damper on a marriage not to mention if you have a kid booze will definitely fuel some unnecessary temper tantrums mix all that up that kid's quirk is very useful Okay, I got the confirmation I need. Her getting rid of her findings to the Hero Association, they're angry, disgusted, surprised. Uh, Alright, so how should we handle this? We'll give him a chance. What? Yeah. We'll let him believe that he has a way out. Then we'll take them out. What? Yes. We'll take them both out. But, but, no! Excuse me, Nagant. You can't just do that to the kid. He's already have a taste of crime. What would stop him from continuing this path? He could be too far gone. Well, you don't know that. Whatever. Give him this. Just place it somewhere where he'll find it. In which it we will give him an offer. So far, he hasn't done anything too problematic. Robbery, that's a crime, but not as serious as murder. So at the very least, he'll get some jail time, probation. But if he refuses, he gets no deal and he burns for everything he's done and the boy we'll cross that bridge when we get to it you have your assignment go Nagan she's like was were they serious about killing that kid the father, I understand, but he's just doing what he thinks would help from what I can tell. This doesn't make sense. 
as then <laughs> this is actually he pops in the old DVD which is a bunch of pictures of him and Izuku with some writings like turn yourself in get back all you stole at least what's left and we can work out a deal or don't and face the consequences Izuku's not in the room but Zashi <laughs> oh, they have no idea why I have at my disposal. They have no true idea what my son can do. <sighs> this could be interesting. As then the phone number appears at the top. Him pretty much writing it down, putting it in. Get a burr phone and calling it. Okay. I hear you have a deal for me. Let's hear it. Upon hearing about, yes, you had to serve an extensive amount of jail time and pretty much keep nothing of what he's earned through what he considered to be gambling. What well, he's what he's told everyone. Thinking I don't really like that. I'd rather serve no jail time and pay off my bail and whatnot with what I've collected. Hmm. But it looks like I have no choice. Him pretty much I agree. I'll do it. So, they said time, they said date, and a place. And Hazashi tells Suzuku that they are going on a little trip. But Suzuku feels like, is there something wrong? No, everything's fine. Or anything, we're just gonna meet some friends of mine and see how, uh, just have a little talk with them. Izuku's he's 11 by this point, and he's a bit terrified, wondering, like, what kind of friends because he hasn't really seen his actually with many people. So, but okay. So, what are these friends like? Is it in his mind? In which, yes, Izuku is nervous being in the car, which is just heightened once his father takes out a nine millimeter pistol. I'm gonna need you to place. A tiny portal around the barrel. Can you do that for me? Uh, don't worry. If all goes as planned, I won't have to use it. But, you see that building right there? Yes? Make sure the portal sticks out of it. The other side. Just in case. Can you do that for me? Mm-hmm. Attaboy. <laughs> uh, yes. Zashi. He gets out of the car. Izuku sets up the portals and... <laughs> just watches and waits. He doesn't know what's gonna happen. But he does know that anything that involves a gun could lead to unnecessary bloodshed. Then there are at least three people there. One of them being a police officer. 
and two more cop cars start to show up. So, we decided to take our deal. Mm, oh, not necessarily. I would like to make a new deal. And what would that be? Okay, here it is. I get to keep everything I uh, collected as w my winnings, you know. I get no jail time. You guys forget about me and pretend you never heard of me. And I guess I can let you live. Everyone there is just pretty much like, what, what are, you, are you serious? You, you have nothing for us. It's, then he's, um, he just pulls out the pistol. <sighs> oh, uh, do you really want to test my patience? <laughs> do you really think you can... Oh, I know. Now, do we have a deal? Or am I going to have to... What do Americans say? Bust a cap in your ass. <sighs> You're serious. Do I need to demonstrate? Important trigger. One of the people goes down, bullet to the head, dead. And then, how did you? Wait, the kid. He has the kid in the car. As they start running, and Hazashi just keeps on shooting, moving the barrel ever so which way it needs to be fired, unloading pretty much the whole magazine, emptying it and reloading. Huh. I'm a little bit disappointed. Cops dead. As well as uh, the negotiator. Huh. Dead. Izuku saw it happen. He's horrified. But as soon as Zashi gets back in the car, he forces a smile. Can we go home now? course but remember this is our little secret can't tell mom now can we okay as they drive off again they call Nagant let her know that yep it failed what's worse is that Several people died because of it. And so, so what? Are you saying you're going to give up? Oh no. If anything, this just proves how dangerous that man and his son are. We're ordering you to take them out. At least the sun can be spared, right? <sighs> I'm afraid not. He created those portals that led to the deaths of those poor individuals. He is too dangerous. Wait, but he can be... What? He can be a useful asset. What are you talking about, Nagant? Think about it. I'm a sniper. The best assassin that you... You could say... Given the authority to. And, what's your point? I don't miss. So, what if... 
I had someone who can guarantee that missing would never be a possibility. What? If that kid is, is skilled with his quirk as I uh, perceive he could be, imagine him being able to assist me. You know, help me out, provide cover, support, all the like. Are you suggesting that we recruit a child who is a father who is a hardened criminal by this point? You can't pick your parents. He didn't ask for any of this. That may be, but he is still an accomplice and he must face repercussions. But death is not the answer. He could be a great hero. Mm. Heroes. Don't, uh, don't you start that. I'm a hero and I've, I've, uh, Put an end to lots of bad people for you. Enough people to know that yes, I doubt the public would see it as a, you know, as a the ends just by the means sort of situation. Are you trying to threaten us? Because it's not working, Miss Nagant. If anything, if do your job. One more chance. I'll end the father tomorrow. But the boy lives. And I will keep him under heavy surveillance that I will back myself. Can you promise the return of the stolen goods and such? I believe I can. Hmm. Very well. Are we all in agreement? Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, why not? This is your last chance, because if you fail, we'll come for both of you and make sure you watch him die. But I won't see to it that you don't. You're dismissed. As, yeah, that's pretty much Nagant's whole take. When it comes to Yuzuku, he's having nightmares of what happened. Him hearing the gunshots, seeing the body start dropping, the pure shock in the final moments. It's haunting for a kid to see a horror movie. A movie where you know it's not real. But for a child to be subjected to such a act in real life, it's a lot different. It does not compare to a scary movie. It does not compare to seeing gunslingers on the TV show and whatnot. The real thing is a lot different. It can be a lot more tense. So... Izuku is pretty much trying his best to get some sleep. It barely working. As in go just Hello uh... Uh, Who are you? Shh. <sighs> 
I know what you and your father have been doing. Or at least what he's been making you do. I would like to stop it. What's that mean? I'm not going to sugarcoat a kid. I am going to kill your father. You're going to kill me too? Not unless you give me a reason. <laughs> so, why are you here? Are you gonna? No. I'll do it tomorrow. I know why you started helping your father do this. For your mother's sake, right? Yes. Well, how would you like to help your mother be free from your father? But this will be a permanent because he will never come back am I understood what do you want me to do you know how you created that portal one at the barrel of his gun and the other on the side of the building I'm going to need you to do that. But as she just turns her arm to her sniper rifle, do it to this instead. Next time you and your father are out, make sure he's somewhere hmm, public. Why? I want to make it look like a random shooting. At the very least, when I'm gone, no one will know. Hopefully. Are you sure that would work? Positive. But it will only truly work if you can ensure that your father is uh, in the line of fire and I don't miss. Can you do that? I... I understand. Tell you what. I'll do it myself. Pretend you don't know anything. Sorry, I scared you. I got leaving. Izuku just mulling over. Did that really just happen? Should I do what she says? Can I? I'm really considering. Like, is this the right thing to do? Is this something a hero would do? Then he looks up at one of his All my posters, remembering how All my would do whatever it takes to make sure that, that uh, justice prevailed. And maybe, just maybe, this is how Izuku is to do that. He knows what he and his father have been doing is wrong. But if he if he were conspired to kill him, would wouldn't that make him a villain? What what makes it justified to end someone's life? I mean his father killed several people without any regard for Izuku's well-being that he was actually in the car but then the day 
of Sashi Vidoria's assassination commences. Where all you can hear is one gunshot. And that is how this part shall end. Oh, oh, sure, that was fun. All right, let me think. What should I do next?